Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you a simple way on how to build a restaurant app. First, what you want to do is just scroll down below this video to the description and click on the first link you find there. Then you're going to come across this platform, Glide. Glide is a platform that lets you create custom apps without coding. You can use your own data from spreadsheets and connect it to various components and actions to build interactive and beautiful apps. Glide also uses AI to power your apps and make them smarter. You can share your apps with anyone using a simple link or QR code. Glide works on any device and adapts to any screen size. So, after clicking the link in the description, now you need to sign up to Glide. You can choose to sign up with your Google or your email address. Once you have completed the sign up process, you will be directed to your Glide account. Now, creating a restaurant app using Glide is a straightforward process. To begin, navigate to the left menu and select the Templates option. This will lead you to your template page, displaying all your existing templates. For a wider selection of templates, click on the Template Store. This takes you to the Templates Library, where you'll find different templates categorized for easy browsing. If you have a specific template in mind, you can utilize the search bar. In this case, since we're creating a restaurant app, type Restaurant into the search bar. The results will display a variety of relevant templates. For this tutorial, let's select the first restaurant template. Clicking on it will take you to another page with two options on the right side, Create this app and Preview. We'll proceed by clicking on Create this app, which will direct us to the editor for further customization. In the editor, you'll notice a top bar with three options, Data, Layout, and Actions. Each of these holds the key to customizing your restaurant app. In the Data section, you'll be taken to a page where you can modify the app's data. You'll find tables on the left side where you can adjust data related to entries, categories, users, and more. The Layout section allows you to tweak the app's layout, including navigation and product settings. Here, you can also preview the app in both mobile and desktop modes. Lastly, the Actions section is where you can create custom workflows by adding actions that combine multiple steps. You can either add a new action by clicking on the plus new action button or use the existing actions provided. Once you're satisfied with the customization, it's time to publish your app. To do this, click on the publish button located at the top right corner of the editor. After publishing, you'll notice a share button at the same location. Clicking this gives you multiple options to share your app, including via QR code, link, or inviting users through their email. And that's it! If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. You can also watch my JotForm tutorial on my YouTube channel for more understanding. Thanks for watching, and take care!